hello I am going to be making a sweater in the fall and I need to know my measurements in order to make this sweater earlier this year Suzanne Bryan released a pattern called I tag sis which stands for the I tag is it takes a guild and sis is set in sleeve so it is a pattern for designing your own sweater and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. You choose whatever patterns, whatever stitch pattern you want. You make a swatch, you measure your swatch, you input your stitch and row gauge, and then you measure your body to figure out how, what size to make the sweater. So to start, I need to know my measurements, what my size is, and she gives a very detailed sheet of measurements to take. So today, Janet is here with me, and she is going to take my measurements for me so that I can figure out how to make my sweater. I'm gonna show you how to make these measurements. Okay, I have a piece of string here, and the first thing I'm gonna do is lay it around my neck and put it straight down my front, okay? And then Janet's gonna measure the length between the two pieces. It is four and a quarter inches. Okay, so I'm going to write that on my piece of paper, four and a quarter, and that is the measurement for my back neck. Oh. Okay, so the, the, piece, the pieces of string come around right here at the back neck and they hang down straight, and that straight measurement from there to there is the measurement of my back neck. Okay. Next, we're going to do shoulder width, and for that, mm -hmm. You find the bone at the top of each shoulder. You feel around with your fingers and you can find the bone at each shoulder and then you take that measurement. And that's 15. That's 15. Okay. Then we're going to do the bust chest, which is the widest part around. You could hold it. In yeah. Time. So I'll put it, Position it at where the, it. the very widest part of my bust. Is, is that too tight or is that good? Um, it's a little bit tight. Okay, so, so just there. That's good. 38 and a half. Okay, 38 and a half. And then we will do the same thing for the waist. For the waist. Okay. So that will be the narrowest part, or as Suzanne likes to say, if you lean over where the crease is, where you lean, that's your natural waist and that's where you measure. That's 30. So that's 30. Oops. Okay. And same thing for the hips. Mm -hmm. Let's slide out. Now for me, I like to have my sweaters land right about here. So we'll try to make it uh, parallel to the floor right across. Okay, and that is 40. And that's 40. Next is the upper arm, which is at the armpit around yeah like that so that's the upper arm um, now you might want to loosen that up a little okay. bit because I oh. have some flab here to <laughs> to compensate for okay 12 all right 12 and next is wrist mm -hmm. so hmm I have a little oh. bit of a bony wrist I'm gonna do it below right. where my bone comes out because I like to have longer sleeves nine inches Okay, nine inches. Wait. No, no, six. Wait, wait, wait. Try again. Six. Six. That didn't sound right. <laughs> we need some intermediate measurements. So I'm going to take my string again and I'm going to tie it around my waist. Okay. And then we're going to measure from the knob at the top of the back of my neck. To my waist, wherever the string is, is. Got lost. lost in 17. my shirt. Okay, that's 17. And then we're going to do front neck, which I guess I'm trying to decide how far down I want to measure that from. Mm -hmm. I guess let's take these, these bony protrusions right here because that's like a set 
spot. Mm -hmm. And if I want a lower neck, I can always lower it. Right. Okay. So we'll take from you want to hold? Okay. here to, to, to the, the string. Yeah, yeah, to the string. Is it? Okay. 13. That's 13. Now we're going to take the string again, and I'm going to put it around my hips at my widest point where I like to, or at the point on my like hips where I like my yeah. sweater, sweater to, uh, to hit. So right there. Make sure it's par is it, does it look parallel to the floor there? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to do the same the thing. The back neck here to the string. And that is 20. That's 20. And then the same thing on the front. Let's take these protrusions here and measure down to the string. 16. 16. So this is a knitting needle I have. I'm going to tuck it under my arm, hold it parallel to the floor, and then Janice is going to measure from here over my shoulder to the back. And that's my armhole depth. Put that at the bottom of the needle? Is that at the top. The top? Yeah, the top. From the top to the top, it's 13. 13. And then armhole circumference, which is the whole way around. <laughs> and also bring it up, I think do it like right there at that Where knob. the bone is? Yeah. Because okay. that's where the end of my shoulder would meet, meet the arm. Well, that's 14. Okay. That's better. Another end. Next, we're going to do my arm length, which would be the knob on the back of my neck, in the middle of the back of my neck, to the wrist, that point. Right below the bone? Slightly. Oh, she's, she's got it with her holding it like this, so that when you're in her picture, she's measuring it over a, uh, oh. a curved arm. Yes, okay. So that when you, so you have mm -hmm. enough sleeve to cover your arm when you bend it. So right below is yeah. 29. 29. And now, so there are certain words that you're not allowed to use on YouTube, okay? So instead of using a certain word, you use the word bust point. So that you don't get bleeped off of the air. So we're going to take this and put it around the widest part again. Okay, right here. And is it perpendicular to the floor? Yeah, looks good. Okay. All right, so we're going to measure from the top of the neck to the bust point. Okay. And like the shoulder here, I feel right. Do you feel like that little, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, if it's a tendon or whatever it is, that right there? Right there? Yeah. Okay. That's 11 and a half. Okay. And then measure um, from the same spot to here on the back. The back? Okay. Yeah. I can't tell. Does that feel right? Well, I don't know where the end of the tape is, but right here. approximately. Yeah. Right there. That's the end of the tape. That's 11. 11. So what Suzanne tells you is that if you take the measurement in the front and the measurement of the back and if it's less than two inches difference mm -hmm. uh, you don't usually need to do any kind of bus That's, shaping mm -hmm. but if you have two inches or more difference between the front and the back then you might want to add some kind of bus shaping mm -hmm. whether it's short rows or darts, darts or, or whatever something. yeah mm -hmm. Okay, and then you want the width from one to the other. Mm -hmm. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. She says the reason for measuring where your bust points are is if your pattern has some kind of design element in the front that you do not want to land on that certain mm -hmm. area, then you can plan around it. Wow. Mm -hmm. And those are all the measurements that we need. Of course, when you design your sweater, then you would want to add ease. So for example, right. if my bust is 38 and a half, and I wanted a, 
closer fitting sweater, I might add one or even two inches of ease to the width. Or if I wanted a looser fitting sweater, three or four inches, mm -hmm. even six or some of these new patterns have like nine, ten inches of mm -hmm. ease. Positive ease. Yeah, positive ease. And there's ease. negative ease. Yes, <laughs> yes. If you want a form fitting tight sweater, mm -hmm. you could do it with zero or negative, negative. one inches, mm -hmm. whatever. Yep. And I think those are all the measurements I might need. So now I am ready to get started planning my sweater. Well, now I have to do the swatches. Okay. So I have all my measurements and then make the swatches. Once I have my gauges, then you I have your yarn. Then I can start the numbers. Well, the yarn is that brown yarn that you gave me. Oh, yes. Okay. That's the one I want to use. Okay. Uh, I don't Great. remember what it is, but we'll fill you in Fiber on the details company. when we get there. Fiber company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or I might use it for the nightshades when I get that. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. it's, one, it's one of those two. Mm -hmm. So now you know how to measure yourself. And if you are interested in Suzanne's pattern, I'll put the link to it. Uh, it's, it's not technically a pattern. It's more of a walkthrough of how to design your own pattern. Mm -hmm. Thank you so a much, recipe? Janet. A yes, <laughs> a recipe. <laughs> this is how you do it. <laughs> Thank you for helping me today. You're welcome, Joy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>